Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Wednesday? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, because I said happy Tuesday yesterday, right? Anyway, we're back for another daily Saudi adventure. We're going to do a 1, 2, 3 run again. I think that's probably the best way to just do this, is just do 1, 2, 3 run pre-plan. Here we go. I'm going to do things a little bit different today. Uh, just because of the new damage changes, so I wanted to show you guys a couple of quick things with the loadouts of the uh, few of the sortie missions that we're gonna run. The first one's a spy, so like irrelevant. The one change that I did make is um, I either run basically handspring or pain threshold, which is either knockdown or stagger, as the uh, exile is for Loki most times. Uh, cunning Drift or Speed Drift can be really helpful at times as well. I uh, currently swapped over to Endurance Drift for that, as you can see, 12% parkour velocity. Uh, that, on top of our Telos uh, passive, is going to get us rolling and, and moving pretty quick. So that's just a little tweak that we're going to do on him. Second mission is a Mobile Defense. And what we're going to do on this one is we're going to take, uh, we did the Valance 101 video the other day, and the Kuva Hind is now up to 55.6% toxin. I haven't used it since it, the 25% version that I got and leveled. So that's a legitimate 30% increase in damage from what I started at. And I've, I've got a pretty nice ribbon on here, toxin, a massive amount of punch through. I just love punch through, you guys know. It. It's basically like a free 90 and the punch through from Prime Shred and on one mod. Thanks. I swapped fire rate for a 90 tox. Um, but what we are going to do is, because of the damage changes of today being Corpus, we're going to run gas damage. And whenever you run gas damage, you want to always run a more toxin percentage so gases obviously heat and toxin put together you want a higher percent toxin so as you can see i have 60 percent heat 90 percent toxin the amount of toxin percent in the gas damage is what actually calculates the damage per second tick when it starts to deal gas damage over time I'm lucky in the sense that I also have this over here for the another 89.2 toxin. So this is going to get this gas here, this toxin heavy skew gets a 3x multiplier. And if I were to go ahead and drop, say, well in this case it would be Bane of Corpus, so if I were to go ahead and say drop Bane of Corpus in there, instead of say Vigilante Armaments, now we're looking at a 5x multiplier on that toxic damage gas proc dip. So that gets a little bonkers. So we're going to test out the Corpus uh, gas scenario on that one. And we are also going to do a similar thing over here with the Naros. We're going to run... <laughs> I, uh, but I, I just put this together, the gas chain. Uh, so we're gonna run an Amprex. It's just straight up, you know, normal Amprex, heavy, cal uh, heavy caliber crit builds, nothing fancy. You know, uh, crit damage, MS ribbon. I got, I got lucky with the. Thank you for giving me a fancy or pretty. I don't know, whatever. I certainly did not roll my way to that. Anywho, but we're going back to that same toxin heat. Again, 90 toxin, 60 heat. Even though we could swap, like I could drop to a, a rank zero vigilante supplies and use an, a 90 heat here, and it'd be even. I want the higher percent toxin so that I get more damage over time, which is going to equate to more DPS. I don't know if that math makes sense to you. Immediately, it's not apparent. It's not immediately apparent. Anyway, so the point of and the point of this one um, is that I want to use Amprex to see how well I can get the gas clouds to chain from enemy to enemy through the course of the corpus levels, since gas just bypasses the shields now. And if we were to use something like an HM viral, you know, slash viral combination on 
our corpus now slash no longer bypasses shields so this is like this is more actually more effective against uh grenier than it would be against uh corpus so that's in a way almost kind of just a uh, just massive change in how damage used to operate i mean that used to be one of those defaults of like oh crap it's fucking the shield and no armor that's just viral slash them to death and they have no health but well now it doesn't work that way so you use gas to get around it so that's the plan here is we're just going to chain massive gas clouds all over the place uh, the mission i'm going to be using this setup for is as you could probably guess an assassination it is indeed if i recall correctly the hyena pack which personally i find to be annoying as fudge dippities simply for the fact that there's nine trillion people things on the map and it's really 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 difficult to find where the stupid little boss things are that you're supposed to shoot in the middle of the other 97,000 things shooting at you which to be fair is part of Channel. like you are here to infiltrate data vaults and retrieve highly um, sensitive enemy information. I talk about it all the time. People say, you know, XYZ weapon is amazing. And I say, yeah, sure, it is for you because you have three other people eating bullets for you. Like, that gun's not solo viable. I You're mean, nearing the console. It is to an extent. The alarms now but and when you get to the data. higher levels of things, like, you just can't be shooting or you can't be wasting you know half Tenno, a clip be on the lookout for increased about security burn our measures is here uh, that's another thing that i try to do with loki is to get that there's that perfect window of like whoop thought we were gonna get the lasers again of when you hit you know 0, 0.0 seconds and it deactivates and oh wow like i see i'd mention it again but apparently I, every time i mention it, it just makes me that much better the next time i go to do it excellent work um, a clean extraction with no what's alarms. really funny is that now that that we have that cypher 100 uh bp well near completion in our uh uh clan dojo not that not that I'm not sitting on a hundred and change ciphers as it is, I just never use them. But now that the hundred XBP is coming, I, like, I just don't even bother anymore. Literally anything I do that has, like, that, that is cipherable, the target console is nearby. obviously, if you the sorties now, are the not. Will start destroying data. Otherwise, you know, we'd use them here too. See, now if I were to three to that right now, I would just fall into eternity and death. Like, such a bummer. To be fair, I mean, it's because I did mod narrow minded and have a duration of like 306% and can stay invisible for fucking ever. So, like, you know, we all make conscious choices. See, that's like, I hit one and I, and now just out of range, out of range, out of range. That shit bothers me. Now I'm okay. Just, and it's not like it's because I modded my range too short, because then that would affect the range of every ability. So like, I would be able to cast the one further if I could cast the three further. So it's not like one is just lagging behind the other. They're just offset. Why? That's just, I mean, but, I mean, I've said this so many times. You've seen, you've heard, seen, heard, etc. Yada, yada, you. It just doesn't make sense to me. I was actually, somebody was, uh, we were talking the other day about various troll builds, and I was talking about how, not troll builds per se, but how there's frames that people play and as soon as you see someone playing it you're just like immediately going oh really just just fuck my life and one of those frames being bimbo the target console is nearby 
If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. When played properly. Yeah, just get dead. It's kind of nice to see, like, uh, whatchamacallit. See, like, that's just fun. That dude has no idea what's happening right now. But it's just really fun. You can actually zip through both of those, it's just, I'd rather not right now. And Invisia, alright. I was a little slack in there. I was really trying to get that, as I mentioned, there's that little window where, like, if you queue it perfectly, you basically, somebody asked me the other day, like, what's the, what's the downtime on Loki's invisibility? And I was like, ah, I don't know, like an eighth of a nanosecond? Get to it's like, get good. If if you time it right, and even if, uh, I mean, and if you really, like, I use this when I, I use Loki to solo exploiter, which will, actually, we'll have a Loki, uh, well, we'll have a number of exploiter videos coming, but the first one will likely be uh, how to solo exploiter with Loki, so it's a very, very simple uh, set up, build, and methodology, you're invisible, they don't know what the fuck to shoot, it just makes things simpler for you. Obviously, if you can be invisible, it makes your world a lot better. So this is going to be a mobile defense, eggs in a stronghold. Whoops! I forgot to change loadouts, that would have been really bad. Because Loki, not, not helpful. Although, if you do need to use Loki for like a defense mode, well, not a, not, I mean, if you need to use Loki for a full blown 5 10 wave defense mission, you're kind of fucked. You should probably look into investing in a second frame, because like, that's apparently the only one you own. Nearby but communications towers if, um, are broadcasting crucial enemy oh. intelligence. Capture the towers Pardon and me. decode it's, any um, incoming messages. So, this is really weird to me. Wait, this is burst. See how many bullets that is? Like, really? It's so many bullets, man. So many bullets. Right? And then, okay, so now we click to semi. Yeah, let's just get our, our slow up, because I'm fucking about here. This is what really gets me. Now, make note, lower right, 90 round clip, semi-automatic. Okay? Ready? Watch. You have captured One. The radio tower. Trigger pull. Three bullets. Three out of the clip. Not multi-shot three. But three. Like, as in, you know, like three from a Tiburon Prime burst. Like a trip shot, like a burst is. Not 87. Tower captured. Five? Now. Really? So I have... Bursts of three. Or bursts of five. Or... Where is it? Yeah. That ridiculousness. Which isn't actually bad, it's just... Tower very different, uh... Stats with all the different fire modes, as with any weapon. Uh, for example, Tiburon Prime that I mentioned previously. The most efficient firing mode on that particular weapon is the actually the fire mode that it starts you in. Sorry, I stopped talking and started aiming. I was like, oh crap, I gotta shoot shit. So this is what I mean about bullets and like, solo. You actually have to like, oh, dude, that headshot just hurt so much, didn't it? I mean, I know it did, but just kind of had to remind you just of like, that I know how much that hurt. And I, oh. Oh, ho, ho. there's no reason that would should have hurt that much, but it did, and it was kind of awesome that it did, because wow.
We have lost control of the tower. That's okay, because as we've talked about in previous videos, whenever they take a tower, and you take a tower back, it is free bonus points. So if you're leveling a weapon, one of the things that I, uh, one of the ways that I just level things in general is just by running missions. Should just solo run fissures and level crap, like, literally just by doing objectives you'll level weapons. You know, in like, mobile defense objectives and shit, like, just that alone. Uh, apparently there's bad guys everywhere, but I don't know where. There's some over here. Ah! It's this guy. Okay. It's that guy. Well, that was the thank you Helios for the weak spot intel. What's the other spot? No, C. Oh, D's up top. Lightning everywhere! And... Message to COVID. Leave none alive. Clear out the remaining enemy forces. So I just said in my... In my head, I was like, Oh, that fucking Scrambula motherfucker just showed up. It's the end of Wave 1. See, now that shit to me is just kind of hilarious. I have detected like, another message incoming. I know why it happens. It's because I'm rocking the Helio stat stick, so I have a four uh, set Vigi bonus, so it's a 20% chance for enhanced crits. But still, like, you know. This tower is ours now. I'm firing off like 40 and 50k. Orange crit gas procs with the semi shot of the behind. What up, sortie level stuff? Just wanted to say your uh, your um, one of these days I'm gonna actually make Nova Umbral the one. The big advantage of Umbral Nova that now. makes me want to actually Umbral her compared to like giving zero fucks about Umbrals at all is that it only, so it, in order to max Slova, you need 145. We have control of all four towers. Fire rate's a little slower than I'd like on this weapon. See that? Delay is a little bit. See, I wanted to shoot a like millisecond or two earlier, like bang, bang, but I can't. Bang, bang. Now, oh, that one is almost there. I mean, it was, but. The enemy have taken a tower. You must recapture. Yeah. It. See, th those three or four shots should have been in the time that the first two shots were fired. That also shouldn't have been a reload. Those are one of those things, again, back to, I've said it before, well, I've used the name a bazillion times, or the expression a bazillion times. I don't know if I made it up, but I'm the only person I know that ever fucking uses it. I call it Gamer IQ. Playing smart. This game lets this and many other control. shooting games let you go. Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay. And bang. And okay. And back. So I have 72 rounds left in my 90 round clip, and I just stick 18 on top. Like, no big deal. You know, real world, that shit don't happen. But it does allow us to do it in this game. So, because it does, take advantage of that. Always. Know your situation. High nullifier, high automatic fire. This is 
what I like to call situational awareness of what the fuck is going on. As you can see, we're hitting for much less damage per shot now. Also much lower uh, uh, crit chance because we're on the automatic fire. It's a significantly lower stat per shot per bullet mode. The one nice thing about that five round blip burst is that that second or third shot or, or three shots in the time I want to fire two but don't have room for prime shred on the uh, config, that sort of deal. The Five shot burst. Kind of, yeah. I was, I was waiting to see if he was going to die on his own. Uh, kind of eliminates that for you in a way. So it gives you that follow up. So two of those and blah blah. that everybody? How is there still really? Seriously. Not only have we decoded the that was bonkers. Like, we have also disrupted the it went zero, one, and I was like, okay, oh shite, a bursa, and then everything went kaboom, and I even heard Helios die and come back to life right at the end. I don't know if you heard that like an engine thing. That was Helios reboot. Alright. So off for the assassination. That, so that gas worked off pretty, worked out pretty well in, um, with the Hind. Those gas crit procs were looking pretty nice. This also, this particular, the uh, sortie condition on this one is assault rifle only, which is another reason why I opted to go for the uh, gas Amprex option. One, because this boss fight is full of a room with mark. of you annoying motherfuckers. So. If I've got to hit a room full of annoying motherfuckers, to a surge in production. you know, might as well do it in one that's, uh, hunter. Codenamed Hyena, gonna chain back and forth around between everybody. Use caution. The Hyena pack will work together to Normally try to I would like down. to just use something, you know, well, Ignis spray and pray and just sprint through and, you know, shoot in general directions of things, but this is more a, I want to just test this kind of theory sort of scenario. I honestly don't know how well this will work. In theory, I mean it should work well, but that, I mean, how many theories have I had that worked out to be complete the shit Hyena before, model. so, Each with a different we'll see, oh, there's, arsenal of attacks. so, oh, did I get him? Oh, I did, nice. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm good with that. Yeah, just fucking nuke everybody. We can hit one, then we can hit fifty. Is a good fucking plan in my book. And gosh, only knows how many of these are procking gas somewhere on like any of the people behind us. So it's entirely possible that entire scenarios of people are dying, and we just don't know it because we're too busy staring at this one annoying little bastard. Which I got really lucky in being able to tag. Because, oh, there's, oh, I don't have a, uh, I got him too, nice. Um, these, these guys are always so difficult to find during the fight that I always try and make sure to mock them in some way, shape, or form when I can. And it is never, never this easy. I swear, never. 
this easy to just go, hey, oh look, it's those guys. Alright, that's locked down, but no big deal. Even, this is kind of hilarious, because even when we shoot these guys, it's chaining through them and still getting the hyena. So it's not, ex it's not nuking fast, or certainly not, like, melting this guy's face, you know? But this is not really the point of this entire setup here anyway. It's more so just the simplicity of it. And that's that. And we'll just get rid of all the fires because they're annoying. Oh, I keep trying to melee slam. This melee, uh, the melee directional slams obviously are much faster than a lot of your movement options many times. So I keep going to melee slam, but this of course is assault rifle only. So I have no melee with which to do said slam. That's one of those, haha, I know the map moments. Where you know like, okay, on the left side of that level is where there's an elevator. Let's see Target what down. the toy today is. Complete. Ooh, Great work, a rifle ribbon. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. So, I don't know how long, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna alt tap right now and look and see how long the video is. Alright, it's not too bad, it's like 26 minutes right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over real quick. Yeah. Inbox messages await the operator. Hyena PB says, yep, that is the worst, most annoying pop-up ever. Because it, and just let me show you why. Because it... Currently, one mod over the Riven capacity limit. You will not be able to play sorties, yada 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 yada. Return to the landing craft will open this screen if you defer. Dissolve, ask me later, purchase capacity. Oh, hey, let's just purchase capacity, because I'm out of capacity. Buying this slot expansion would exceed the limit for this slot's capacity. Because apparently that's too many data bytes. I understand why they do it in theory, I really do. It's so you can't stockpile 7,000 Rubicos and sell them for 9 trillion bazillion dollars. I get it. Anyway, whole thing was I wanted to look real quickly at what this rifle ribbon is. Complete a defense mission, level 30 or higher enemies, defense objective, no damage, no energy consumables. So that's going to be an approximately 5 minute or so defense mission. So I will be back momentarily with how to easy mode that challenge. And until then, that was today's sortie. I'll see you guys for how to easy mode that ribbon in the next video that you probably see. And a follow-up sortie video will be coming sometime afternoon tomorrow. And again, remember Barrow Friday. Uh, dev stream was just announced this Friday, so that, and I'm sure there'll be a prime time tomorrow night as well. So make sure you get your Twitches, Twitch mixer accounts, whatever connected. And make sure you start getting your ducats stockpiled. And that's about that. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you taking a moment of your day and sharing it with me.